Good morning guys. Welcome to snow day part two. It's actually raining. It's actually horrible raining and slippery. Be careful. It's terrible. Sophie's been wearing her riding boots all around the house, breaking them in. Yeah, we can show. Okay, so anyways, welcome to today's video. Every day we have a different plan. Today, I they plan. They look dead though. I know, it drives me crazy when they sunbathe. Three of them are right. Okay, so my plan today was to work with the chickens and work with the horses. I wanted to take a couple of horses for a walk down the path with all the snow and all the snowy beautifulness. Yeah, and this is what we have. Not very much snowy, wonderful. And it's raining. And it's icy and slippery. In fact, buses were canceled, school's canceled. Another snow day, snow day number two on the day by day farm. These guys are getting massive. Is it snowing in here? Probably, it's dust. Or someone, no it was All right, like let's see your chicken. Isn't she, she's so different looking than our other bard rock. She just has a white face. I know, I love a bald face. A white face, listen to her, you can tell she's a girl. She's. This one talks cool. That one talks cool. So we know who the mom to this one is because we have a mom that looks exactly like her. And it was a, a chick that we hatched and she raised. There uh, yeah, they're all dust bathing right now. Okay, well, look guys, this is my, this is my baby Paul, Pablo. That's our boy, it's our rooster. We're not keeping him, sadly. We're not keeping him. We are getting another rooster though. We don't have two roosters. Look at Sophie's makeup today. It looks so cute. Let me just zoom in a little. It's so cute. I really like this one too. Because it's cute. I like white chickens. I'm a white chicken kind of girl. Yeah, Our, we have one snowball. We have one white chicken and she doesn't lay. She hasn't laid ever since we got her. Uh, we she have laid three, like a week. Two silkies. Oh yeah, the silkies lay. But look, this was cute. Yeah, you're cute too. He's so, like a barred rock mix. Oh, he's an Easter egger. She. Yeah, but a barred rock mix. So this chicken, let's see, show them. This chicken will for sure, well likely, likely lay colored eggs. You can tell because she has these big feathers on her face. And she's a girl. Yeah, and she's a girl. And Avi. Hi. <laughs> this one's really cute. I also really like the red ones. Yeah. You're really cute. That's probably a girl. It is actually time for us to move the chickens from the inside of the house to the outside of the house. So this little coop, actually this is not a tiny coop. This is a big coop. This was a lot of chickens. We just don't, aren't using the space the way that we're going to be using it in the spring. I can't wait for spring. I've been dreaming of spring, literally dreaming. And I've seen she's stuff that we do. Mean. She's mean? She just grabbed onto another's neck and just didn't let go. Well, that's probably a boy. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna, in the spring, we're gonna get rid of this coop in the back. We just have that there because we knew we weren't gonna have time to fix this up. But what we're gonna build a whole other coop all the way to the ceiling like this one. Back there with a nice door, probably halfway back. That we will use for our babies. And then our brooder pen that we're gonna make. I love my chicken. We're gonna make built in as well. We're gonna get rid of this thing that takes up so much space. We're gonna build it into the... Coop, oh, so. Easter egg. Look at that oh one. my gosh. Her cheeks. I hope it's a girl. They both have that. Those two both. So I don't know if you guys can see. Problem. Can you grab her? <laughs> Easter eggers are one of my favorite. Oh, wow. Okay, she's skittish. Yeah, we hardly ever hold her. But they have those big cheeks. I think she might be. And they're so cute. Too because she's got spots. And the rooster has orange. So right now, Sylvia and I are gonna um, split our brooder and make it so that it can hold two sets of babies, which is what it's designed to do. And very soon, the bigger ones will end up going in with the chickens, just a couple more, like another month or so. But and look at this. Now that we came outside, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, it's blizzarding. All right, now, so. this one has something funky going on with this. The brooder thing. is fixed, this section over here. Sam's gonna hang up a uh, roost like these guys have. They look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> they really do. Um, anyways, he's gonna hang up a roost in that side. I really like that this one's gonna grow up to be like a big chunky monkey like that one. I know, and I like the chunky ones too. this one's gonna grow up to be like that small one with the long tail. 
Yeah, it's neat. And look, this one has white toes. Okay, back to the chicken coop. Back to the brooder. This is our brooder. This is where we keep babies. So, uh, um, is, that water? is that water going in there? Yeah, it's going in there. I'm going to bring the other one's water out here. So I'm going to go find another heat lamp for this side. Sam's going to build a roost. And those babies are coming out today. Man, it is noisy in here. Anyway, um, we're going to head out. Can you bring the shavings in here? Bring a bag of shavings I in here. I want to see you. I want to see you. All right, come with me. Whew. All right. Yeah, just need a light bulb. Yeah. Right, we found another. I'll clean it off. Should we plug it in and see if it works, though? Oh, it worked. Didn't we use this last time? Yeah, we used it. Maybe not. This is where a lot of my chicken stuff is. We're in the back of the barn. I also need to find another chicken feeder. Oh, there's one. Right there, I hate these ones. I bought these in a kit at TSC or at um, Tractor Supply and they're awful. So one thing that I love about having a farm and having space to store stuff is that every time we need something new or we don't have to go shopping, we can just shop in the tech room. All right, so that one doesn't work. You should just toss it, Sam, so we don't keep trying it every time. <laughs> the cord on that one is broken, so Sam's gonna have to go into town and try and get another one. Or I'll call my sister and see if she's got any because she always has some. So one of the reasons that we are ready to take the baby chickens out to the bigger thing is because they stand on their food and their water and then they stand with their head poked completely out of this thing and they just stand there and stare at us. Yeah, it's time for them to make the move. If you guys hear some machine, it's our rock tumbler. That's gonna always be something in the background from now till eternity. I'm tumbling. Okay. That's a little small. All right, well, we're let me Just put my boots on. No, we're not putting them in a bowl. Put the box inside there Look, and then. Their feeties are gonna be hanging out. <laughs> Look. Put a towel in the bottom. I'll put my boots on. We did it. We got them all in the box. It got cold out here. Holy moly. I'm going to close these chickens in. Aww. All right. I got perch in there. I love it. You got the babies? They're going to love it. Yeah. We'll have to bring their food and water out. Emma's done so much work on this farm today. Oh, I'm going to give everybody some food and water. We'll be back with some water. Wait, we got to take this out. Yeah, they move. Here, watch out. That's where their water is going to have to go. All of those chickens are dusty. I think we should. Oh, that's warm. I think we... I couldn't get a smaller bulb. Oh, good. Okay. This one is like... Really hot, that one. All right, so there we go. You guys might remember that we had nesting boxes on here, but all they did was stand on top of it and poop in it and and roost on on them. They never used them, so Sam took them down. Because one of the things that we plan to do, um, I don't know when he's going to do it, maybe he'll do it sooner, but one of the things we plan to do in the spring is to put more roosting bars instead of the nesting boxes. They, I'll show you, they just dig a little nest and, and nest in there. I know a lot of people who have... I know a lot of people who have chickens and they make a nest and they and they lay in there. They don't use boxes. Definitely be a lot easier for me to clean in here. Get in here and clean and I'm excited about that. Let me see. What do you got underneath you? You can't steal the eggs. Look at her. She wants to be a mom again. So I was explaining to someone who didn't understand chickens um, in the past. But this chicken has gone broody. So all the chickens will come and lay in this nest and then she will just lay on them. They'll lay their eggs and walk away, but she wants to lay on them and raise some chickens. It's just a bio biological thing that happens. I already got three today, so. I see you got rid of that thing. I love our chicken coop. I love how huge it is. Um, just so you guys know, we're not keeping all the baby chickens. Yeah. We are going to sell them. Yeah, so we're just raising them to sell. This one is my favorite, you guys. Honestly. So we know now that this one's going to be a spotted barred rock one. It is so cute. Your girl. You have so many feathers. Yeah, so cute. I can't get over it. That one is stunning. And then we have this little one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go right away. And it's got, it's like a black and gray and brown one. 
And then we have another one that's dark, another dark colored one. So we have a few more eggs that are in the incubator that should hatch, that haven't hatched out yet. But we are hoping to get like about six from this clutch. So this is our last clutch of eggs that we're going to hatch this season. In the spring we plan to um, hatch ducks and geese. We're gonna buy another breed of chicken that we're really interested in. We wanna get some, what kind? Polish. We want to we wanna get some. We want to get some Polish chickens. We're gonna get a rooster and a hen. They're a small breed, like the silkies, but a little bit more hardy. So the majority of the chickens that Sophie hatched this this winter will be laying by the summer, and she plans to sell the majority of them. We like to keep around a dozen chickens for our own family. Any more than that, we have too many eggs. Even with a dozen, we have too many eggs. Our fridge is full of eggs right now. So we like to keep about a dozen and then she likes to sell them. She makes good money selling eggs. It's part of our being on a farm. Being I'm not selling eggs, I have Yeah, she has a couple that she'll keep. And yeah, so that's it. New life on our farm. There's three hatched already. There's probably another three, maybe four that will hatch in the next couple of days. So the last couple of times we filled in yeah, our rooster, I told you before, our rooster is not fertilizing all the eggs. A lot of the eggs aren't even developing at all, which means that they're not fertile. He hasn't mated with the, that chicken. So we definitely know we need to get another rooster. But what's super exciting is that hopefully after these chickens hatch, the next birth on our farm is gonna be baby goats. Oh, we're so excited. So I thought I was the only one using this. When we moved here, the, this was already hung up and we um, figured out it was probably for mitts and stuff. And Sam uses it for all his stuff. So if he hangs our coat over here, we should actually get hooks and put them on here and hang our coats up here. It hasn't gotten so super cold yet, but oh man, putting warm mittens on when you go outside is the most amazing feeling. We are still preparing for our baby goats. So exciting. Like we're working on the barn. There's so many issues with the barn. Like I need to make it a little bit more draft free. So we're working on that. We're working on a lot of stuff around the farm. Can't wait for spring though. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today's video. I uh, hope you liked it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that